Hey guys, thank you for stopping by today. If you're new here, my name is Chris. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna find out what I got in the Hot Topic mystery bag. I didn't even know that Hot Topic did this and I cannot take credit for this. One million percent credit goes to my sister Grace. If I don't say this, you guys, she's gonna kill me. But yeah, my sister called me up one day and she was just like, Chris, Hot Topic has makeup mystery bags. Do you want one? You can do it on your channel. And I was just like, uh, yeah. So thank you so much, Sissy. I'm really excited to find out what is in this mystery bag. And I absolutely love it when my family supports my addiction. And if you want to join the Chrismo family, feel free to smash that subscribe button. And if you see a little bell button nearby, you can click that too so that you're notified whenever I come out with new videos. Okay, guys, so here's the mystery bag. On the bag, it has a whole bunch of skulls and it has Hot Topic right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There it is. Hot topic and then up top they actually put mystery bags they put the theme which is makeup there's five items inside and the bag costs twenty dollars plus tax so I don't know what the retail value of it is inside I don't even know what's inside but I have my phone ready and I'm ready to look it up to find out what the value of these goodies are so I'm excited okay so how do you open this thing okay got it open so it's, to, it's like a little drawstring bag so I'm just gonna separate like this and okay let's do this okay I think this is the first item oh how cute is it I think there's something else in here what is that nope nothing else just the bag so the first thing that came out is called the mermaid beach kit the tag says nine dollars I don't know if that's the sale price or if that's a retail price oh wait no it's not it does say at the bottom that it actually costs fourteen dollars and ninety cents retail price this is how it looks up close the bag is like a nice material it's not cheapy which is great it's a cute little cosmetic bag uh, let's see in the back it says what's inside so we have a nail polish remover two of them Two deodorants, two, uh, a mermaid scrunchie, a bronzer, bobby pins, ten of them. Woo! Lord knows I need those because those things disappear. We have mermaid glitter nail polish and a lip balm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's open this up. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. I'm so curious. Okie dokie. Okay, here's the mermaid scrunchie. This is cute. Can never have too many of these. Okay, look at the little mermaid bobby pins. This is cute. They're blue. Very cute. Kind of like an ombre situation going on there. We have the bronzer. Oh, okay. Oh, it's by Blackheart. This is all by Blackheart. Yes. Blackheart is like a company that I think Hot Topic either works closely with or is Hot Topic's brand, like their makeup brand. I'm not sure. But here's the bronzer. This is like a bronzer cream stick. Oh, okay. That's the shade right there. Now, this is way too light for me. I could possibly see this as like maybe a blush. Okay, well, I can't wait to test that out. Oh, one of the things came opened. Where's the top? This is the Mermaid Beach Lip Balm. It looks like this. I have lip balm on me already, but I want to smell it. it. Smells like lip balm, lipstick. Has a little bit of glitters from the bag in there, but it's pink. It's lip balm. Can't get enough of those either. Here we have little packets. We have nail polish remover, another nail polish remover, a deodorant. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. The deodorant comes in these two things. I've never seen deodorant come in this, but this is kind of cute, I guess. It's like a to-go one. I almost feel like this is like an emergency beach kit. Alright, and last thing up is a mini little nail polish. Oh, cute. It's silver. This is so tiny. Look at that. You guys see the silver? There it is. But I think that was really cute. That was cute. Next up, let's see. Ooh, metallic eyeliners so I was on sale for five the retail value is nine dollars and ninety cents so we have a bunch of colors we have blue purple I think this is like a looks like a white but it has like a pink to it silver and black by the way I have no idea who makes this this one doesn't say black heart here they are okay whoa that is like that's a blue blue. Let's put them right here. Oh, okay. Probably the worst line swatch ever. 
but I can see that blue. It's pretty. It's pretty. It does have like a little bit of a metallic shine to it. It's not extreme, which I don't mind. Here's the purple. Oh, this purple is gorgeous. Look at that. That is pretty. On camera, it looks more blue, but in person, it's like a true purple. Next up is like this pink-white situation. Here we go. Oh, so pretty. Ooh. It actually looks a little lavender, too, like in person. And the camera looks more white or silver. But in person, it has a little bit of a light, kind of lilac color. All right, next up is silver. Ooh, it's like a dark silver. Let's go. I love this. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding? That is so pretty. Then, of course, black. I mean, you really can't get black wrong. Yep. Pretty much, oh my god, that was the worst watch ever. <laughs> Watching Christina fail as watches for like 10 minutes straight. I can't believe this is like on sale for five bucks. I think it would have, I think it's definitely worth the ten dollars, like the retail price. But wow, really nice. Love this. I'm gonna let these dry down and then I'm gonna see if they like smudge in a little bit. Okay, the next item. Ooh, it says Black Heart Immortal Eyeshadow Glow. It's on sale for 3 bucks, but the retail value is $5.90. This is how she looks. Oh, that's better. Now you can see the color shift. Really soft. Okay, there she is. Put it right up here. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can definitely wear it on the lid, too. You could possibly wear it as a highlighter. Not bad so far, guys. Not bad. We're doing really great. Okay, let's see. What's next? Oh, there's a big one. What is this? Till death do us part. It has a candle, bath confetti, essential oils, hand soap, and a solid fragrance. Okay, so I feel like maybe this bag should have been labeled beauty products instead of makeup because this is definitely not makeup, but I'm not mad about it. This is something that I could still definitely use. It was on sale for $10 and it retails for $22.90. This is a nice little heart-shaped box. It's thick. It feels good. Solid. Let's open this up. We have a little skull candle. It's wrapped up in this plastic. It smells good, but it kind of smells like something that you would put next to you if you're sick in bed, like vapors or something. But not like a heavy, heavy medication scent. I feel like I'm saying the wrong things, but I don't know how to explain it other than that. It just feels like it's going to clear all of the mucus in my nose. Okay, we're going to put you right back down there. Then we have a heart, an actual heart. Heart's Desire Hand Soap. It kind of smells like roses. Really pretty. So it has a little heart-shaped soap. Next is the essential oil. If I could get it out. Okay. Full of health benefits including boosting respiratory health, strengthening the immune system, easing tension and anxiety, and eliminating inflammation. Wow. It looks like a little skull and stuff. I feel like people just completely dismiss oils. Oils can seriously make a huge difference depending on the type of oil you're getting and what you're getting it for. So I am curious to try this. I'm actually really excited about this one. All right, next is a solid body fragrance. I've never ever seen something like this before in terms of like a body fragrance. It looks like this. It says vanilla and caramel. I don't really smell anything. Maybe if I like take some and then put it on my hand, it'll come out some more. Yes. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> it's like rubbing it and putting it on your arm just kind of activated it or something. I don't know what happened, but now I smell it. Oh, that's pretty. It's kind of smells like lotion, to be honest. It doesn't really smell like perfume or anything like that, but it's nice. It actually makes my hand feel really soft. Ooh, very nice. Okay, the last thing up is bath confetti. It's little hearts. Really cute. I'm not sure if this, like, dissolves, like, soap. I'll let you guys know when I use it what happens. 
And yeah, that's it for this bad boy. This is really cute. I like this. The last thing in here is... Ooh, this is pretty. The Black Heart Crystal Lip Collection. Okay, it was on sale for $5. It retails for $12.90. Look how pretty that looks. I am obsessed with cute packaging, you guys. In case you couldn't tell, that's all I ever get. Cute packaging. Sucker for it. I'm excited for this. I am definitely a lip gloss girl. I definitely prefer it over matte. Like, I would get a cream lipstick over a matte lipstick any day. Just my preference. Don't be mad. Don't yell at the screen. This is not cheap quality, you guys. It feels really nice. Like, it's solid. Solid. And it actually feels like a hard crystal. Not that I've ever held a crystal before. All right, so let's swatch these guys. Look at this one. Let's put it right here. There she is right there. Doesn't feel sticky or tacky, which is great. Next one up is this kind of light, light pink one. Put you right here. Looks clear, but it has a little bit of like a pinch or like a light, light, light pink peach situation. And the last one is like this color. Similar to the other one, but it's not. I swear it's not. As you can see, she right under. Oh, wow. It looks similar to that one. Let me see. Let me see. I want to put it next to it. This is more pink. Don't know how to explain this, but this is definitely more pink than that one. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. She is empty. So I think I did pretty good. Let's go ahead and actually see how these guys are doing. Oh my god, they don't smudge! They don't smudge, let's go! I'm hyped. That just got me really, really excited. They don't smudge! At all! That's fantastic! That was only $5 on sale. Like, I know retail price is $9.90. When you go to your local Hot Topic, you have to find out what's on sale, what's not. Some Hot Topics have things that are on sale that other ones may not have on sale. Not sure why, but that's just how it is. So I'm really excited about that. If you see that set, honestly, grab it. It is so good. Okay, guys, so the retail value for that bag was $66.50. My sister got it at a freaking steal of $20. I am shocked. This was amazing. This was a great great buy i actually don't own any of the things in that bag which makes me happy too because i do own a few hot topic things some things were hit some things were miss but i am happy that so far everything seems really great and i'm excited so if you guys are interested in getting yourself a hot topic mystery bag just give your hot topic a call or visit the store and ask them if they actually have some mystery bags because i don't believe every single hot topic store offers mystery bag. If you see it, I definitely recommend you grabbing one. It's a great way to test out different companies from Hot Topic. Most of this was Blackheart, but some wasn't like this company. I don't know who this is, but it wasn't Blackheart. Wait a minute, this is Blackheart. I just realized it right now. On the actual liner, it says Blackheart, but on the box that it comes in, it doesn't say Blackheart anywhere. So yeah, that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think of the Hot Topic mystery bag and everything that I got inside of it. And of course, I will catch you guys in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.